Hey guys, welcome back. Steve here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. In today's Graphic Designer Tip of the Day, I'm going to talk about a very sensitive subject, okay? We're going to talk about PMS today. Now, we're not going to be talking about the PMS that's going to get you in trouble with your woman. Not that kind of PMS. We're going to be talking about people or clients who are very sensitive to color, okay? If you've ever heard of PMS, when it comes to the printing industry or the graphic design industry, it stands for Pantone Matching System. And these right here are your trusty Pantone colors. All right. This is a Pantone book, which I highly suggest every artist out there invests in. Um, I actually got this one because a company got rid of theirs. And um, so I got this for free. But these can cost a little bit of money. I think they might be, you know, $100 and up. But they're very valuable to you as an artist. And I'll tell you why. All right, so let's back up a quick second. The reason for this tutorial is I had a question asked on a video a couple days ago by username uh, DeWittJCs, and it said, Hi, I have a problem. My client wants to print invitations for her art show, and all her paintings are green. I did a little mock-up with my color printer for her, but she said that the colors are not similar to her paintings. Have you ever heard that happen before? All right. That's because you can't look at a screen and think that that's the color that's going to print out. Screens are in RGB. Printers are in CMYK. Everything's going to come out completely different because the other factor is that every monitor is calibrated completely differently. My Mac, iMac monitor right here is so much brighter and more vibrant than a PC monitor that I have at another station that I work. So uh, the rest of this question is I try to adjust colors and contrast, but she brought paintings – the the physical paintings to my place and I saw they don't look similar at all. And DeWitt JCs, I feel bad for you, man. It's That's probably a really embarrassing moment when you don't know what to say to your client. But hopefully after watching this video, you'll know exactly what to do. Uh, basically, I answered him what I'm going to answer you in this video. The Pantone matching system is where it's, it's kind of like when you go to Lowe's and you know you want to paint a room a specific color. You bring in you know, uh, a color of the furniture or a piece of fabric you're going to put as like a, you know, a sheet on the bed or something, and they will match that color to a paint can. It's completely different. You're talking about fabric to paint. Similar here. Basically, um, out in New York, my company is smlstudios.com, and this is my color scheme, and this is my symbol, my logo for my company. Now, if I ever, if I brought this to you as a designer, okay, you're, you're, if you didn't know about Pantones, you're going to try and match this color all day. And also keep in mind that every printer prints differently. Digital printing, you have offset printing, commercial printing. You have digital printers that do wax-based coatings, oil-based coatings, uh, straight-up toner, laser printers. Okay, the way you fix all this or to get the best, best possible um, match is by using a Pantone color. Now, I would say is if, if they just – or if somebody just brought you something with this on here, you have nothing else to go by. There's no digital files, nothing. What you're going to do is you're going to first determine two things. You're going to determine what kind of paper is this printed on. All right. This is a coated sheet. All right. And um, so this Pantone book is actually a coated and uncoated Pantone book. It has both. At another station I work at, we have two Pantone books, an uncoated and a coated. They're just thinner books. But basically, I would go into the coated section of this book, and I would find the red that I am looking for that is that is the closest, okay? it's You're never going to get a 100% match, but you do your best and get your closest. And then you write down that number, and I'm going to show you an Illustrator, in Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop on how to select these numbers and apply them to your artwork. So let's go. Now we're in Adobe Illustrator CS6, and I believe that you're able to do these in any of the Adobe programs, but basically what you want to do is you want to come up to Swatches, and you want to hit this little drop down, and you want to come into Open Swatch Library, and there's a lot of little uh, uh, cool you know, books and stuff in here, like if you want metal textures or you know, like earth tones and stuff like that, but we're going to go into the color books, and we're just going to focus right now on the Pantone Solid Coated or the Solid Uncoated. And since I had that printout on a coded sheet, we're obviously going to select the coded. And I found a number that I like in my Pantone book. It's number 1797, which I can type right in here. And it's showing me the swatch that I can actually now click and drag into my swatches. And basically, I'm just going to create a square. And I'm going to fill it with that. And if you notice, 
obviously on the screen it's a little bit off but I just kind of you know went by my eye real quick and picked a picked a color but um I guarantee you're gonna get much closer when you use the Pantone colors you know think about how many prints are gonna waste if you, you're not using Pantone uh, matching systems stuff like this so uh, that's an Adobe Illustrator and now we're gonna jump over into Photoshop and here is the word headline and basically we're gonna do the same exact thing but it's a little bit different we're gonna come into swatches we're gonna hit this drop down and immediately it's right on the bottom solid coded or solid uncoded so we're gonna go into coded it's gonna ask us to replace the current swatches okay hit okay and we're just gonna open this up a little bit or scroll down and basically I am going to select my text I'm not a big Photoshop user for you know only for basic stuff and I'm just going to you know you can't actually search for the number in here so I'm just going to find it right there I'm going to click click off and that's our 1797 red that is very comparable to the color red in my logo all right so I hope you learned something in this video to the user who asked this question I'm just gonna call you DJ because I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing your name wrong I don't want to insult you at all but uh, basically um, the other one thing I want to add is that the fact that even if and I don't want to let anybody down here, but you're doing the best you can, like I said, for the best possible match. Even if you select that spot color and you have this printed, you got to realize every printer is going to print differently. And every type of paper you print on is a different type of paper. I, I, I mean, you, 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 I have thousands of paper books with, you know, different types of coded papers and, and everything. Um, so, you know, that's why you want to do proofs for your client. That's going to be another another talk so um, physical proofs if they're really picky and you know this is you know you know you you can tell your clients we all know the crazy ones and and the ones who uh, you know are pretty easy going you know for those crazy ones you might want to suggest a proof all the time you want to suggest a proof but you know I don't know anyway so if you like this video and you learned something which I guarantee you did definitely hit this button click it right here subscribe to our channel please and uh, hit the like button and comment below let us know your thoughts and uh, you know what you find uh, valuable when it comes to uh, PMS books I don't use them all the time I'll be very honest with you um, but they it you're always gonna need them at that one time and and it's just it pays off to have it for that one client uh, which I've used it on maybe a handful of clients uh, you know, throughout my career, but they're also, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to, you know, match things up. So that's it, everybody. I'm Steve Looney from graphic designer I'll see you in a couple days for another video. Peace.